Let's see if it works. Oh crap! <laughs> All right, guys, right now I am in Tridelphia, West Virginia at Spirit Hello. What? That's not Spirit. It's supposed to be. But it's not. But according to the website, it will be as of September 29th. However, it is the location where I filmed my Spirit Halloween that has the most video views of any video I've ever done with almost 5 million views. What in the world? And since I drove out here without realizing they're not open yet, we're going to go right over there to Menards. That's better. To Menards. I did take a look in the windows though, and it is not Spirit Halloween inside at all. So my guess would be, even though this is the address, that will probably be the Spirit Halloween. What a bummer. Let's go to Menards. Here it is, guys. The sun is right in my eyes. Menards. I'm hoping they have some totally awesome Halloween stuff. Let's go in and check it out. Oh yeah, right here. Whole bunch of awesome Halloween stuff. Holy crap, guys. I'm so excited to get over here to this, but let's start over here. Look at this werewolf guy. This is hilarious. He's an animatronic. It looks like his eyes probably light up and twirl. Let me see if I can get him going here. Hold on. There he goes. Okay. Look, it's like the moon behind his head. That light is the moon. Um... Okay. I mean, he's cool. I like him, but he's not very loud, and he's kind of just like a Mr. Howl without the major awesome howl. I do like that he continues to growl, though, and I do like his face. This is one that looks better. Like I mentioned the other day when I was in Spirit, that like uh, K&T Halloween could redo Mr. Howl and make him a, uh, what do you call it? Like a teen wolf. They could put the teen wolf clothes on Mr. Howl, but this one definitely would be better for that because this has more of like human features than like a total werewolf. Pretty cool though. All right. I don't see him in a box down here anywhere, so we'll have to keep an eye out because I'm really curious as to what he's called. Like if he has a special name, but I do like him, he's pretty cool. Let's look at all these inflatables down here before we go. They got a couple of them that are blown up up here, like this small dragon and a giant dragon. And I noticed they have a bunch of them up here too. And look at the end here. There's another animatronic werewolf on the end that's totally different from the one we just looked at. We'll come back to that, but all right, we have an inflatable turkey. Look at this cool guy here, an inflatable mummy, inflatable vampire. These are both four feet tall. Inflatable Frankenstein, I like that guy. He's only three and a half feet tall though. Four foot inflatable vampire bat. That's cool. <laughs> I love that style. I love this old style of like classic Halloween stuff. And the colors, like the, the mummy is green and, and the vampire bat is blue. That's awesome, okay. So now we have an up and down motion inflatable skeleton in a pumpkin. Halloween trio, look at this, we get the pumpkin the ghost, and a green bat. What the heck? All right, what is this? Spider's restaurant? Oh, this is that pumpkin hollow stuff. They got like a ton of stuff where you can set up a whole town. Uh, monster, this is more like a Frankenstein type thing. Here's our little dragon that we have set up right here. And then we have just a basic inflatable pumpkin. That one's pretty awesome though. Look at his face. I like how this giant one has like the fire and ice colors going on inside him. That's really cool. Let's go on over to the other side here. We'll see what they got. Oh, there's some cool stuff down here. Here's our um, Thanksgiving turkey because Thanksgiving is in there somewhere. <laughs> but here's the, um, the one inflatable like Frankenstein I was looking at. I actually like this a lot better seeing it in person here than I liked it when I looked at the box. That is pretty awesome. Okay, now look at this real quick before we move on to this guy here. What in the world? This is, that's hard. That's like a ceramic. He's got a little light, lighted skeleton. So apparently he lights up inside. You see his eyes are hollow. So apparently he lights up inside. And then he also has this that you can put a little tea light candle in. That is awesome. 
And here's a ceramic pumpkin too. You can put a light inside him like a legit candle. And here's this dragon inflatable. It reminds me of the Arctic dragon from Spirit. He, he's not blue though. <laughs> he's not an Arctic dragon. He's a regular dragon. He's an Ohio dragon. Actually, no, we're in West Virginia. He's a West Virginia dragon. Okay, I was wrong all around. He's a brimstone dragon. <laughs> oh, and here's the one that I was showing you that's on top of the thing over there by the door. Lanky Werewolf. He's pretty cool looking. We're gonna have to get a closer look at him when we go up towards the front there. You can kind of see him peeking out there. He looks pretty cool. I love how he's hunched over like that. Look at this. We have spooky mingos. It's Halloween flamingos. You know, you see these people put like the pink flamingos in their front yard. These are orange and black flamingos. That is hilarious. We got a little skull and bones fence here. Here's a different skull and bones fence. Oh, no bones, just skulls. These are really cool. Those candy bowl holders. Now these are like they feel like they're foam. But all right, we got Spider-Man, Iron Man, Batman here. Mad Batman. And then, oh look, we got Yoda. And then we have the Mandalorian child. This is cool. Here's a pumpkin porch light cover. Just a plastic cover that you put up over your porch light. And it illuminates the pumpkin. Oh, and look over here. We have a skull one, too. That's pretty awesome. I think I like that one better than the pumpkin. All kinds of Halloween lights and string lights and stuff here. But then I noticed this. Check it out. A bone light string. What the heck? There's six bones on there. It's 11 feet long. That's so weird. Okay, what an... Oh, okay, this is just another big pumpkin. Oh, he's got a button. Wait, he's screaming. <laughs> I can't tell if he's lighting up or not, though, because the store is so lighted. The store is so lighted. The store is so bright with all these... Uh, oh my gosh, I can't even talk. Never mind. Got some tombstones here. These are just foam tombstones, but these are pretty cool if you wanted to make your front yard a cemetery. And then they have packs of six. Look at this. You get six tombstones. This is awesome. This one has like a green tint to it. I'd like to see what all those look like, but that's pretty awesome. You could make your whole front yard a cemetery. Look at this one, this uh, pillow, creeping it real with a scary spider. And then we got the monster one up here. I like this, I love the green on that. We have a plethora of scarecrows over here. Oh look, I missed this inflatable too. The Halloween truck. Look at everybody you have in there. You have like a skeleton, a Frankenstein, a scary spooky spider pumpkin and a ghost that's pretty awesome and look i missed this too here is the uh what the heck do you call it here's what it's called the snarling werewolf <laughs> he definitely is snarling look i almost missed this we have a chewbacca candy bowl that's pretty cool these are the ones that i first saw when i came in though how cool is this freddy candy bowl look how small his uh knives are that's so funny. Freddy Candy Bowl, and then we have a Pennywise. That is awesome. Look at the look on his face, guarding the candy. And then we got, what's his face over here? Deadpool. Oh, you gotta love the coffin sound box. Oh crap, I think you have to pull a, a little tab in there for it to work, but I tried one of those at, a, at the Cracker Barrel, so if you wanna hear that, go back to my Cracker Barrel Halloween video. Day of the Dead statues. Oh, look at this. I love these things. Magpies apothecary. Powdered skull. And then they have spider legs. That's cool. Oh, there's one, another one here in an orange bottle. What's this one say? Witch's warts. I think these light up. Um, yeah, it looks like they have a string light in there. So those light up. That's really cool. They have straw barrels here. Look, they have a couple of different kinds. We have the bigger ones. And then we have like a medium size. Where's the medium? Here's the medium size ones down here. And then look at this. We have tiny little mini straw bales. If you just wanted to make a mini setup with a tiny little pumpkin and a couple of straw bales. Pretty cool. Posable jack hanging decor. Is there one that's... Yeah, this one's opened up here. Jack Skellington. That's cool. Look how long his legs are. That's hilarious. And you can pose his arms like to hold your phone if you want him to. Illuminated hanging ghouls. Look, well, okay, let's see what he does. Oh, okay, I see, he lights up in there, if you can see that. So we got one with just like the burlap. This is like a magenta, 
and red. Ooh, he looks creepy. That's cool. Oh, this is awesome. Look at this. It's shaped like a coffin. Welcome to our haunted house. That is pretty sweet. I should get that for the RV. And look at this one. Halloween party, October 31st at 8. I thought this was one that like lights up if you push a button, but I guess not. I guess it's just to hang on the wall. Pretty cool though. Anyway, look at the little mummies down there and the black cat. Oh, look at the little spider there. <laughs> what is this? This is so cool. This reminds me of the 80s, like Stretch Armstrong. Look, you can pull them and stretch them. Squishy Monster Roy Bato. And then there's this one, Squishy Monster Ice Ack. I think that's what this is, Ice Ack, okay. Those are pretty cool. They're not really very Halloween-y, but they're still, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's one that's not in here, and here he is. He looks like Frankenstein's monster. Now that is cool, and that's more Halloween-y than these two. Seven foot tall, hanging, spooky ghost. Okay, I don't think he does anything except for hang there and blow in the wind, but that's cool effect. Oh look, there's a black one too. Oh, that's a reaper. Look, this one even says it's for display, but it's not hung up anywhere. Hmm, that's pretty spooky. Look at his face. What in the world? Look at this, caged rat. It's just a little cage with a rubber rat in it. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh my gosh. Creepy creatures. A, a plastic toad. Look, he has bones on him. Oh, and this one is a rat. It's a rubber rat with rat bones on him. What in the world is this? Glowing fiber optic finger flickers. Oh, okay, I see. I think it's that you put this rubber band around your finger like this. And then you can go like this, and it'll make those flick all around. Oh, yeah. Push the button, and it lights up. Cool. Look at this. Spooky Night's Glow Mask. That's cool. It's kind of like these glow sticks that they put out, like these right here. Giant glow wand. And you, like, shake it and break it, and then it glows. Pretty cool. Oh, here's all this Spooky Town stuff. Spooky Town and Pumpkin Hollow and you set up like your own town. Now, I could be mistaken, but I think it is a uh, haunt former who actually has all this stuff, or at least a bunch of it. I think I watched a video of his where he was setting it all up. How cool is this? Look at the skull on there. And look at this over here, flying witches. What the heck? <laughs> I love this right here, a spooky tree. And look, I missed this. This pumpkin back here has a little pumpkin in his mouth he's chomping on. I love this one right here because it looks like something straight out of Nightmare Before Christmas. They got a couple of basic uh, costumes here, just these masks. That's some kind of a light-up mask. A goalie, you could be Jason. Here's Apocalypse mask, it's like a gas mask. Is this Pennywise? Yeah, it's, it's a Pennywise. They call it a clown mask, but that's definitely Pennywise. I've always loved these basic felt wall decorations. We got a pumpkin, and then we got a skull here. And it looks like, yeah, looks like we got a cat under here. Black cat. Look at this, this is cool. A monster chair cover. You put it on the back of your chair. That would be a sweet, easy, cheap way to decorate. Those are only a buck 99 each. That is so awesome. Couple more of the candy holders here. Look, we have a black panther. That looks pretty cool. I think we saw this one and this one. But look, we have the Mandalorian here too. Okay, I also missed the skulls on chains. Look at this. This is pretty cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's awesome. You could just have those hanging all the way down the hallway in your spook house. Oh look, I didn't notice. The eyes light up too. So you put um, batteries in there and the eyes light up. That's cool. They have a whole bunch of stuff here, like if you were having a, a party. Look, they have these bowls for candy and popcorn with pumpkins and witches and spiders and ghosts. Here's a gift set. Has like a door hanger and stuff. Look, you've been booed, okay. But what is this? A Halloween party photo kit. I guess that's like a background thing. You set it up and everybody takes pictures by it. Oh look, if you don't wanna actually buy pillows for Halloween, these are pillow covers. That's cool. That's a good way to, to, uh, to put up some Halloween pillows without actually buying the pillows. Just cover the ones you already have. I like this one. Look at that. Happy Halloween. It's dark. It's like a dark blue, I guess, with pumpkins. That might even be purple. 
I don't know, I'm not very good with colors. Napkins, these are cool. I love when they have the colors like this. And then look at this, we have little orange plates with spiders. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is awesome too, look at that. I almost missed these too. Remember the big pumpkin we looked at just a few minutes ago? But look, we have a giant Frankenstein. Let's see if he makes sounds. Yeah, he does, but it's really quiet. You can barely hear it. That is awesome looking. Look at the teeth. That's hilarious. And then down here, we have the same thing. It's a skeleton. These would be so cool to put up on your front porch. I think that is all the Halloween stuff they have, or at least everything that they have set up right now. But I want to go up here to the front and get a better look at that other werewolf, that one that's like hang, hanging over. I think they called him lanky werewolf or something like that yeah here's a better look at this one up here i love how he's hunched over he doesn't turn or anything but his arms do go and his eyes light up I told you to stay away oh my god <laughs>